Wonderful good morning and welcome back to my channel. It's day five now for me here on the Mindful Farm and this is another video part of my series inside my mind kind of videos. I don't know if you checked out the other ones but if you're curious check them out. I'm talking about things which crossing my mind and I really start enjoying that and I might <clears throat> continue doing videos like that some sometimes every now and then in the future. So leave me a comment down below if you like this or if you would um, like to hear my opinion on certain kind of things. Yeah, that would be really helpful and then I can make a video on it. Anyways, today I really I really wanted to talk about feelings and how to always stay happy. You know, like the way, I mean, it's very, very hard, but we need to realize that our feelings are not us, like not, not you, like you are always the one who is experiencing the feelings. I mean, it makes sense, right? Otherwise. Who would experience the feelings and that's a really important question who is experiencing these feelings who are you actually but it's hard to find that out i think <laughs> but for now it's just important to know that you are not your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions and you can maybe see yourself as a as a sky and feelings and thoughts as emotions and as clouds passing by. The sky is always there no matter if there's clouds or if there's no clouds or if there's a storm or no storm. Behind that there's always the, the clear blue sky. Or another example is the ocean. The ocean is always calm and clear under the surface. And on the top there's wave after wave after wave, sometimes very small, small gentle waves and sometimes really rough stormy waves. But you're always the ocean who is still there and same with you, you're always there and your mind, your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts are just coming by every now and then. <laughs> so once you realize that, it's much much easier to let this kind of things pass quicker and to observe it and to watch it and <laughs> and I know in the in the moment it's really hard to bring that back to your mind that this is this is the true reality but once you once you really know like once you figured out how to bring yourself back into this consciousness of knowing that this is not you, it's much easier to let negative thoughts, feelings and emotions pass much quicker and also react much more compassionate to, yeah, to the person you're relating to in this moment or the person who upset you in this moment. And if you're the master of your mind who can calm down these emotions and the situation much easier you will help the other person opposite you also seeing much deeper inside themselves and realizing that this heat or this emotion this person is in can pass again and can can be left alone and can be yeah can move on I know also this can be a big struggle sometimes if if someone is look really really looking for fight with you I mean they are searching they are desperately searching for something or someone to respond to their heated emotions so if you are not responding to these heated emotions they get more heated and more heated and fully explode but in this moment it's just also very important to not let yourself be affected by that, to know that it's not about you and to know that this moment will pass again. And once it has passed again, you can always come back to it and talk more calmly 
about whatever the discussion was about. I guess that's all I have to say for that right now. <laughs> that was just what was going on inside my mind right now at this very moment. And yeah, just enjoy your day and have a happy life. Subscribe to my channel if you like it. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.